Hello, this video will train you in how to use the file storage add-on. Files can be attached to customers, shippers, consignees, drivers, carriers, and factoring companies. How we do this is very simple. You can simply go to the list that you wish to attach the file to. I want to attach a file to my customer chancellor. So you'll see here there's a paper clip icon. That's how we attach files within the lists. So I'm going to click on files and you'll see this customer already has some files. We can do Word, we can do Excel, we can do PDFs. I want to add a file to this customer. So I simply click on add, click on basic file uploader, browse for my file, and now I'm going to look here, and here's my Chancellor Customer Agreement form. This is the file I want to attach. So I click on that and then click on Open. Now I click on Save. It tells me the file's uploaded. I return to Files. And now there's a fourth file attached to this customer. Over here are the things we can do with these files. We can download them, and this way we can actually look at it and see what the contents are to make sure that we're actually attaching the correct file and I can see it is. We can also email any of these files by clicking on the envelope icon. Simply click on email, type in your email address, click on send, and now that email address will receive this particular file. If we've attached a file to the wrong customer, or perhaps it's just not a file we need to keep, we can click on the X, and that will delete the file. And you'll see it's now removed from this customer. If I look at another customer, I click on their little files icon, I can see this customer has no files. So if they have files, you will see them here in the list by clicking on the files icon. And again, you can, do, you can attach files to your shippers, your consignees, your drivers, your carriers. You might want to attach some agreement files with them. And the advantage of attaching files is that it doesn't matter if the original file is on your computer. Once you attach it in ITS, anybody who signed in that has the authority can see that file. You can also attach files to loads. When you open your load and you're in Edit Load function, You'll see down here it says Files. And we can do the same thing we did with the customer. We click on Files, click on Add, click on Basic File Uploader, browse for our file, and here it is. Here's my bill of lading. You could attach things like bills of lading, proof of delivery, expenses associated with this load. So I'm going to click on that. I can double click it or single click and open. Do Save. File has been uploaded. Return to my files, and there it is. And again, the same three functions. I can download it to look at it. I can email this to someone, or I can delete it if it was added in error. And again, anybody who has access to this load will be able to see the file because now it is saved with that load. It's no longer just on someone's computer. It's accessible to anyone who has access to this load. Thank you very much. This concludes the training video for file storage.